Hi there, this is the first time you see me, so I'll introduce myself. I'm an Italian songwriter, my artistic name is Calmo, which means quiet, and I am here today to show you an incredible music software. Its name is ALK2 and it's produced by Zern Audio, a young German company. This software is just a blessing for multi-instrumentalists, especially when it comes to live performance. In fact, you can sound like a band on the stage, even if you are a single performer. As you may have guessed, the keyword of this software is loop station, but really it is much more advanced than a classic looping pedal. To understand how this program works, let's use it. In this project, I've already created some audio and MIDI tracks. We have an auxiliary guitar, a rhythmic guitar, a bass, some drums, a synth, and finally an electric piano with clavinet and bass. The tracks are ready, I also set the song tempo, and we want to loop a simple guitar tune. Which is a loop by itself already. So we draw a red region, that is a recording region, with the length one bar. Now, using the green pencil, we draw a playing region that loops our recording as much as we want it. So let's record. So our loop is ready. Now is the turn of our rhythmic guitar. So we draw a 4 bar recording region and we name this region verse, bang it the verse part of the song. Then we play this region 3 times. In this way, our rhythmic guitar will play a total number of four times. So we'll have... Note that the plain region we have drawn is automatically referred to the last news recording region, that is verse in our case. In addition, the software works track by track, so we cannot draw here a plain region that refers to a recording region on another track. Now that the basic functions of the software are clear, we draw a 4 bar region for the bass and a 2 bar region for the drums. And finally, we add some synth. So let's hear the result. In that point we have not in the guitar, so we can create another recording region that we name special. Then we want to play this new region just one time, and after it we want to repeat the verse part. We can do the last thing by simply clicking on verse. We finally add some electric piano for the ending, and now we can hear the result. That's it. In few minutes we have built our song project. Not only that, but our performance fills up the song in few seconds with all the instruments. Finally we can appreciate the nature of this software that is not simply a looper, but also a sequencer. We can easily create the structure of our song that will be filled up in real time with our performance.
and needless to say, a classic looping pedal will never provide such a generalization, and also, it should be properly pressed to let it work as we desire. With the ALK2 instead, hands and feet are only used to play the instruments. The software also offers more advanced features. For example, we can change the pitch of a playing region to transpose it up to two semitones. This feature is great to save time. In fact, we can use it to play other parts of the song and reuse the previously recorded ones. Furthermore, we can also modify the starting offset of the playing region. Normally, a green region starts exactly from the beginning of the recorded clip, but we can move the starting point forward or backward. You can also quantize in real time a MIDI track with the built in quantizer. But maybe the most important feature is the possibility to create control tracks. A control track can be used, for example, to draw a volume automation. Let's see how it works. We firstly create a new control track. Then we draw a green region, that is, we want to draw the automation curve by hand. Now a target must be specified. In our example, the volume of the auxiliary guitar. And so we are ready to draw the automation curve. Thanks to this feature, we can push live looping with LK2 to the extreme. In fact, as you have noticed, when the playhead reaches a recording region, our performance is directly sent to the monitors. Let's see this. However, by means of a control track, we can automate the volume in such a way that during a recording region, what is performed is not heard. This means that in any time, we can record fragments of performance that can be used in the future when needed. An example where this idea is implemented is in my cover of All Back the River. This is the project of the cover, and before diving into its details, I'll show you the cover, posted on my YouTube channel and Instagram and Facebook page. Take a listen. In the cover you have seen, I widely take advantage of anticipating some fragments of performance. This already happens at the beginning, where I simultaneously play the tambourine and the drum pads. In ALK2 we have the associated recording regions, one for the tambourine and two for the drums. I use the two regions for the drums because on one of them a MIDI plugin is applied that filters out the kick notes. In fact, the kick only enters from the second part of the song. For each one of the three tracks, a control track is used that raises the volume only after the recording region. Then for the guitar part, we have two regions. This is because the second half of the guitar part suddenly repeats, so I have reused it. And in the meanwhile, I play a pad part with the keyboard that is not sent to the monitors thanks to the control track. Then a new guitar part is recorded. Here you can see the recording region of the first long chord of the guitar that is repeated just after. Then while the first chord is repeated, the second one is recorded, but we can hear it only during the green region thanks to the control track. Rise, 
that. And meanwhile the second chord is repeated, I play the drums part of the refrain on the keyboard. And again, this part is not listened thanks to the control track. Just before the beginning of the refrain, I also play a guitar part that again is anticipated. This guitar part starts with the refrain, we can hear it in solo mode, a simple background of guitar. Now everything is ready and I only have to play the bass and the vocal part that is the upper octave of the previous part. At the end we have the synth part with the vocal part. So, in conclusion, ALK2 is a very powerful software and it's unique also. You cannot find any other program offering these functionalities and being so simple. The winning idea is the fusion between a looper and a sequencer and the implementation of a set of features that can push your live performance to the extreme. For example, you have the panic button feature. That means if you make a mistake during a recording region, you can push the panic button and it will load a previously defined reference clip for that region. ALK2 is currently available on Windows and Mac OS and you can try it for free for 30 days or you can buy it either in the solo version that is more limited in the number of features or in the full version. I hope you enjoyed this video and I also hope you will find me on my social pages by searching for Calmo or Luigi Ferrara. Bye!